Everyone loves to watch the big cats hunt in the bush, but there are smaller wild cats that actually have a higher success rate than lions and leopards when they hunt. If you want to see them in action, you're at the right place, so let's get started. Number 15, Mountain Lion Attacks Deer. The black-tailed deer inhabits coastal areas from California to Alaska. It is related to the mule deer, a larger animal than the white tail. The mule deer's racks are also larger and they have a different shape. Instead of having one main beam with tines, each antler splits into two main beams and each beam then forks into tines. The number of points does not indicate the animal's age. Obviously, its oversized ears give it its name, but there is no evidence that they allow the animal to hear better than its cousins. Still, the mule deer's hearing is keen and is second only to its sense of smell. For this often preyed upon animal, its sharp senses are vital since it prefers open areas where predators can easily ambush and attack the deer. These rock foothills are also home for one of North America's main predators. The mountain lion or cougar is an expert stalker and knows how to ambush prey. When he goes in for the kill, the deer stares and runs, but the big cat is quick and agile, but not enough to catch the massive deer on such rough terrain. However, the big cat does end up with a consolation prize, a less experienced individual while the escapee looks on with sadness as his friend is killed. This mountain lion takes down a huge buck. The buck runs with big cat hanging on its back, but it eventually falls to the ground. This buck is relentless and it kicks out violently with its hind legs, but the mountain lion is so powerful, it can keep the buck down without a problem. In this archival footage, you can see some vintage footage of a rare encounter between a mountain lion and a mule deer. The two animals study one another as the cat tries to figure out the best way of taking down the deer and the deer is thinking escape, but where? The cat launches the attack and the mule deer jumps and kicks as hard as it can. But in the end, the stronger animal wins. Number 14, Mountain Lion Attacks Bear. This small bear looks like it's overwhelmed at first when a cougar comes charging at it, but the bear is feisty and tough and retaliates, making the cougar realize this is no walk in the park. It looks like it's a stalemate at this point. After he spots an aggressive mountain lion running towards him, a black bear tries to avoid conflict and runs straight up a tree, but the big cat chases him up there, so he climbs back down and faces the music. The two animals engage, and it's a vicious fight with the bear standing, staring at the big cat just like a sumo wrestler would stare and engage with his opponent. This black bear stands in front of a cougar and keeps walking towards the cat as the cat backs up, and when the fight erupts, the cat defends itself, but when the bear becomes too overwhelming, the cat scampers off. Number 13, Mountain Lion versus Badger and Wolverine. In this video, this cougar jumps a badger and you can see that the badger is about the same size as a raccoon, but the cougar is having a much harder time subduing it. Of course, the cougar is bigger and stronger than the badger and it doesn't mean it won't eventually kill the badger, but what's fascinating is how long it takes for the big cat to make the kill, and the question is, will it even be able to do so? There are only a few animals that will bother the American badger. Badgers are small animals, weighing less than or equal to 30 pounds even in the largest males. With muscular jaws, sharp fangs, long sharp claws, and potent scent glands, they are ruthless adversaries. Badgers also have loose fitting coats making it difficult for predators to trap them. Badgers are difficult to bite or claw and they can almost turn themselves inside out. Cougars rely on sight and hearing far more than scent when hunting. They take two or three large leaps towards their target before firing a lightning fast charge and striking it. The most typical manner for victims to die at the hands of a cougar is suffocation, which occurs when the windpipe is compressed by a sustained bite across the throat. The neck of the prey might be shattered with a single bite. Small prey such as mule deer fawns die from broken necks, whereas large prey such as moose calves and elk die from suffocation. A cougar will cover its carcass with debris between feedings to make it less likely for scavengers to find and eat it. The American badger in this video is nice and chubby and it sends this cougar off on its way rather easily. The cougar is kinda shy and doesn't insist too much. 
The Wolverine in this video doesn't even back down when it's facing a Puma. Watch this Wolverine go on the offensive against the big cat and the feline backs up and eventually runs away. I'm telling you, sometimes size is not everything. Attitude and courage take smaller animals like the Wolverine a long way. This doesn't mean the Puma couldn't kill the Wolverine. When you think about it, the Puma is probably stronger and more powerful than the Weasel, but because the Wolverine shows no fear, it makes the big cat doubt and that's why he runs away. Number 12. Mountain Lion Attacks Lynx In this video, a mountain lion attacks a lynx, but it looks more like they are play fighting. Perhaps they're not, but the snow makes it seem as if they're school children enjoying their free time during recess. The mountain lion is a much bigger cat than the lynx, but never underestimate the lynx because it is a ferocious predator and you can see in this video, even though it's backing up, it's holding its ground. The mountain lion is careful and doesn't insist because it knows what it's up against. But the lynx's bravado dissipates quickly because he finally realizes what he's getting into, so he decides to retreat and look for food elsewhere. If you haven't realized it yet, these two bobcats are not friends, or are they? Maybe they're siblings and they're having an argument over something? I know my brother and I had scuffles just like this one over trivial idiocies, so it's possible the two cats are doing the same. Ah, there you go. The fight seems to be over and the two cats are heading back home. Number 11, Mountain Lion Hunts Elk. Cougars are obligate carnivores, which means they can only survive if they eat live prey. Deer account for most of the cougar's food in certain states. You could see the cougar in this video tackle a deer after it ambushes it, but after a quick rodeo session, the deer is able to escape. Watch as a cougar sneaks up on a calf elk and kills it. Later, a man discovered the calf's carcass just 15 feet downhill from where the cougar had caught it. You could see the cougar in slow motion, chasing the elk in the background. Watch as this cougar is seen attacking and killing an elk with a sudden burst of speed and strength, smacking the elk and quickly dispatching it. You could hear the noise it makes when the cougar collides into the elk. Number 10, Mountain Lion Hunts Guanaco. Consider a camel. Now, remove a hump or two. Lastly, reduce its size and relocate it to South America as far south as Tierra del Fuego. What are the results? It's a guanaco. Guanacos are cousins of camels. They do, however, live in South America, whereas camels are in Africa and Asia. Guanacos are wild animals, but llamas and alpacas, like cats and dogs, have been tamed and were most likely bred from guanacos. They have pale brown backs, white undersides, short tails, enormous heads, extremely long necks, and massive pointed ears. They dwell in groups of up to 10 females and their young as well as a dominant male adult. Unattached bachelor males develop their own herds which can number 50 or more animals. When a female guanaco gives birth, her young, known as a chulengo, is immediately able to walk. Chulengos can quickly catch up to the herd. As you can see in our thumbnail, guanacos have adversaries, including the mountain lion, also known as the puma in this region of the world. In this video, a mother puma goes on the hunt to feed her cute cubbies. She hunts and takes down a powerful guanaco, after which the entire family enjoys the catch. Some of the cubs prefer playing, eat their fair share of the guanaco. In Torres del Paine, Chile, a puma hunts a juvenile guanaco in this incredible footage. Although some farmers consider pumas to be pests, these apex predators are vital to their ecosystems. The good news is that some sheep farmers who used to shoot pumas have reversed their fortunes and are now supporting puma conservation by allowing prey and these large cats to coexist freely on their land. This puma stalks a guanaco at night and achieves its first successful kill on its own and victory is sweet. Blocked by the fence, the guanaco has no possible chance of escape. The young puma has passed a crucial threshold. Her apprenticeship is over. From this moment on, it is a hunter. As if their lives weren't difficult enough, the guanacos now have another predator to watch out for. The guanaco in this video was probably twice as big as the puma. As cruel as it seemed, it was an awe-inspiring sight, but it was nature in action and the circle of life. You can see the stealthy puma moving in and attacking its large prey. The strength of the guanaco was incredible, as it tossed the puma up and down in the air, trying to fend it off, but the big cat would not let it go until it got the job done. Number 9. Ocelot Hunting Prey 
To avoid being spotted by its prey, an ocelot likes to hunt in regions with foliage cover, avoiding open areas, especially on moonlit nights. This Cody is surprised by this ocelot and backs up into its hiding place, but the ocelot jumps right in and kills the Cody in seconds. It's as if the ocelot knew exactly where the Cody was hiding. The ocelot is a medium-sized cat with a lovely striped coat of white, tan, and black. The underside of their body is white with small black dots, while the remainder of their body is tan with black and white stripes and dots. During the day, ocelots prefer to sleep in hollow trees, on tree branches, or in shrubs. Ocelots are a territorial species. The ocelot is primarily a carnivore, devouring iguanas, rodents, land crabs, frogs, and rabbits, as well as birds and larger creatures such as monkeys. Ocelots have pointy fangs for killing animals and sharp rear teeth for tearing food. They are nocturnal and spend most of their time hunting at night. They have excellent hearing and vision, which aids them in capturing their prey. They also follow other creatures' smell tracks to catch them, like the ocelot in this video, which creeps up on a Cody and easily grabs the animal for breakfast. Though they are small, ocelots are amazing hunters, and this ocelot proves it once again when it ambushes an iguana for lunch. The ocelot goes as far as almost climbing a tree to get the iguana, but it doesn't have to since the lizard falls to the ground, making it an easy catch for the ocelot. Number eight, Serval Cat Hunts Snake. Servals use their coat to disguise themselves as they chase prey and evade predators throughout areas of Northwest Africa and much of Sub-Saharan Africa. Cheetahs, for example, have spots, but tigers have stripes. Servals have both, sort of, while they lack genuine stripes, some of their larger dots merge together to provide the illusion of stripes. It makes it difficult to locate a serval standing still in tall vegetation. A serval is on the hunt in this video, and it finds a venomous snake. The serval taps the snake a few times to get a feel of the situation as the snake curls up in fear. After hitting the snake over the head a few times, the serval goes for the kill and crushes the snake's head. The serval feeds her family with this kill. There are no two serval coats alike. In fact, servals that dwell near forests have more little dots than those that reside on the savanna. Scientists believe the smaller spots help the cats conceal beneath the shadow of trees. White markings behind an adult's ears, on the other hand, are designed to be visible. They assist cubs to keep track of mom when she's guiding them on a hunt. Did you know? that servals have one of the highest hunting success rates of any cat? It's about 62%. To put that in perspective, a cheetah has a rate of 40 to 50%, a lion's rate is 30%, and a tiger is 10%. Believe it or not, the snake in this video survived as the people filming managed to get the snake away from the cat and set it free. I don't understand why they would do something like that when it's the cat's instinct to hunt so it could eat. I'd like to see how they would react if I grabbed their plate of food from under their noses and took it away. Servals mostly hunt rodents, although they are not picky eaters like some other wild cats. They'll eat anything tiny enough to catch, such as grasshoppers, snakes, and even large birds like storks and guinea fowls. They'll venture into water from time to time to eat frogs and other amphibians. While hunting in water, a serval can catch up to 30 frogs in three hours. In addition, unlike most other wild cats, they practically never scavenge or eat the leftovers of other animals. Experts believe this is due to their previous prowess as hunters. The snake being hunted in this video is a venomous puff adder, but it doesn't seem to bother the serval. He's behaving like a hungry honey badger at this point. Well, not exactly, but he does make the kill. Number seven, Lynx hunts rabbit. In general, the lynx is a good mother and will stay with her kittens for a while, but in this video, it looks like mom doesn't want to share her kill with her kitten for some reason. Maybe she's teaching the youngster how to hunt and she wants him to learn how to earn his meal. I find it kind of selfish, but I'm no lynx and I assume she knows what she's doing. Another mom has made a kill and her cubs want in on the action. She doesn't seem to mind and lets them investigate. A lynx will hunt and eat a rabbit or hare every four days, so we're talking hundreds of these fluffy bunnies per year. We could see how the lynx caught the white rabbit in slow motion at the end of the video. A lynx is on the hunt, and it spots a cute bunny rabbit running to find a hiding place after sensing the danger. But the lynx finds the sneaky rabbit 
and pulls him out of his hole, killing in the process and taking the carcass back to his den to eat or to enjoy a nice dinner with the rest of the family. Number six, Bobcat hunts fish. This bobcat went fishing at the Salmon Cascades in the end of Washington and was able to make a great catch right in time for dinner. Bobcats primarily consume rabbits and hares. They may also consume rodents like squirrels and mice, as well as hunt small deer, snakes, reptiles, and domestic animals including dogs, cats, sheep, goats, and poultry. And as this video proves, they also go fishing for salmon. They can also leap high enough to catch low-flying birds. Another bobcat goes fishing in this video and makes a great catch. The cat grabs the salmon and pulls it out of the water in a jiffy. Once that's accomplished, it's just a matter of time before the fish dies and the cat eats it. This bobcat catches a fish that's almost bigger than him. The fish struggles to free itself, but the bobcat bites hard into it. What a huge salmon this cat has caught. I'm sure it will fill his tummy for a few days. Number five, bobcat versus snake. The bobcat is North America's most common wild cat. More than 1.8 million years have passed since this species first appeared on the scene. They're medium-sized cats, roughly the same size as a domestic house cat. Bobcats come in a variety of colors, but they are often brown or gray on top, with white on the belly and black patches all throughout. They have pointed black ears with a white patch in the center, like lynx ears. The fur around their eyes also has a delicate white line. This bobcat takes on a rattlesnake, and when it grabs it, it realizes the snake is no pushover and will not go down easily. The bobcat goes back on the offensive, but drops the snake again. It seems like bobcats are masters at finding snakes on sidewalks and streets, and here is another one trying to neutralize a snake. After playing with the snake briefly, the bobcat grabs it and carries it into the forest. The matchup occurred just above a creek bed on a steep hillside. After the snake took a few swipes at the bobcat, the feline got the upper hand and took the snake into his mouth before jumping out of the wash and into a grove of pepper trees. A snake can be killed by a bobcat. Because they are fast, nimble, and intelligent, they are a difficult opponent for snakes. But the bobcat in our video is not finding this little hunt as easy as expected. Because the snake being attacked is a rattlesnake and it also bites, but the cat, after numerous attempts, finally grabs the snake. Number four, bobcat hunts groundhog. The bobcat in this video looks like it's relaxing, but the truth is that it's trying to suffocate a chubby groundhog. However, when the man filming gets too close, he spooks the bobcat, scaring him off and freeing the groundhog in the process. We could see the groundhog run off as if this never happened. I told you he was pudgy. A groundhog stands his ground against a bobcat and I must say, it's quite impressive. The bobcat walks away, but stops to groom itself as the groundhog stands still. Funny enough, the bobcat lays down in front of the groundhog and eventually walks away. A bobcat attacks a groundhog in a residential backyard, and when the owner of the house approaches the scene, the feline grabs his prey and takes off with it. On the other side of a road, a bobcat attacks and kills an inoffensive groundhog. Groundhogs are feisty, but they are no match for bobcats. Even though these felines are small, they possess a certain oomph about them, which allows them to hunt larger prey, such as deer, so you can just imagine how easy it must be for these cats to hunt and kill a groundhog. Number three, lynx hunts duck. In this video, a lynx stalks and hunts water ducks during the night when the ducks are not on their guard. When the cat goes for the kill, the ducks run, but one is caught and killed by the fearless hunter. This unlucky duck flew into the lynx enclosure at a zoo, and when the lynx discovered it, no one had to beg it to attack and kill the duck, which is exactly what it did. A security cam caught this vicious bobcat attack the ducks in this small pond. You will see him come in twice, grabbing a duck each time, while two of the injured ducks escape until he finally kills one and drags it off. Number two, Bobcat hunts gopher. After several inches of rain fell in San Diego's backcountry, the ground was soft and it was the perfect time for pocket govers to begin digging fresh tunnels. The fresh digging attracted the attention of this bobcat. He hunts, stalks, and successfully catches a gopher, making it a good day for the bobcat, but not for the gopher. Catching a pocket gopher is no easy task for this bobcat. The slightest misstep can spoil the task 
but this cat's patience pays off. A bobcat notices something moving in the grass, and when he approaches to investigate, he spots a cute little gopher. He knows exactly what to do with it, so he grabs the small animal and runs off with it. No, this bobcat isn't trying to find out if there is a plumbing problem with this pipe. It's waiting for lunch to stick its head out of the hole so we can grab it. Ah, there you go. A juicy gopher. Done. Number 1. Lynx Hunts Mountain Goat A Himalayan lynx stalked and successfully killed a yearling markhor, resulting in a dramatic scene few have ever witnessed. The Himalayan lynx is one of the most elusive and powerful cats in these mountains, only rivaled by the famous snow leopard. The lynx, as an apex predator, is critical to the balance and health of this complex mountain ecosystem. This beautiful lynx observes a wild goat in the dead of winter. The unsuspecting goat walks in the deep snow as the cat prepares the ambush. Once the target is identified, the cat takes off and runs at full speed towards the goat. The goat barely has any time to begin running when the lynx has already jumped on its back. The goat is bigger than the lynx, so it fights back and tries to fend the small cat off, but the lynx is vicious and does not let it go. Although the lynx is not a huge cat, it is a vicious predator. The feline can be seen running on the side of a hill to hunt and kill a wild goat, but the goats run fast enough to avoid the worst until the cat eventually makes a kill. The lynx can be seen with a dead goat at the end of the video, but the man filming gets too close and scares the cat away. Now that this guy got the footage he wanted, I hope he leaves and lets the cat eat in peace. Not only were these smaller felines all gorgeous, but they were deadly. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be a part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thank you for watching and see you next time.